Who are you? This is so great. That's fantastic. It's like old timers. I'll have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well let, make sure that Bobby shows you the uh, the special. Um, what you call it? So the kit. Need, uh, kit. Kit. Excuse me. So the, the kit. The fifty-year-old yeah. kit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off the opening ceremonies here. I want to welcome everybody to Hawk Park at Fish Hawk, Fish Hawk Ranch. This is the home of Coed Softball and the host site for this weekend straight to endure to softball tournament to benefit Joe Boyle and finding a cure for Akio Akio Maldo. Akio Akio no and Alma. The first thing I want to say guys is a move by the amount of people. We've never kind of wrapped around the infield before, so this is great to have this many people out. Where's Jared? Jared's idea right there. We should do the ceremony after a couple of games when we have most people out here. So, I think Joe gets to do this round of applause if I get into the You can not believe he came up with that idea, right? Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out. This is, this is really a tremendous honor to get this many people out to this tournament. Um, what is ocular melanoma? Ocular melanoma is the most common primary cancer of the eye in adults. It's diagnosed in about 2,500 adults every year in the United States with a median age of 55 years old. Ocular melanoma is a malignant tumor that can grow and spread to other parts of the body. Okay? So why are we here today? We are here as a large, powerful unit, a united group, all of us, okay, and this weekend, we're going to kick the shit out of Akila and Mama. Okay. We're here to refill Joe's tank, okay, Joe needs his tank refilled, we're here to refill his tank with strength, okay, we're here this weekend to celebrate Joe's continued strength, okay, so I'm going to limit the amount of talk that I'm going to do because I don't do it very well, but I want to say, before I end here, the late great Coach Jim Valvano, okay, North Carolina State champions that won the underdog. What do you say? He said you have to do three. If you wake up, you have to do three things every day. First thing you have to do, you have to laugh, okay? The second thing you have to do is you have to think, okay? Put yourself in a train of thought. And number three, he said, you should have your emotions bring you to tears, okay? If you do those three things, you have one heck of a day, okay? So I'm already having one heck of a day, I guess. So. I want to thank you guys and hope you guys will have a heck of a day too. All right, so I'd like to bring up Steve White. I'm going to try and do this without too much emotion, or I won't get through it. Um, I met Joe the first 10 minutes he moved to fish farm. I won't bore you with all of the details, but he drove all the way down from New Jersey. 95 degrees, gets to his house with his mother in the car and his little pet gerbil Fuzzy, and uh, the door's locked and he can't even get into his own house. Um, so we went over, let him in, uh, he called Byrne, apparently she was at uh, Walmart, had to get something special, I don't know. Um, after that day we became friends, and really family. Um, this weekend we'll play some softball and raise some money um, and awareness for OM, but it's really about sharing our strength hope, faith, friendship, family. Um, Twelve years ago, Joe and I came down to these fields for the inaugural season. Um, we said, what the heck, let's just go down there, see what happens, almost as exact word. Let's see what happens, maybe we'll play, maybe we won't. We're still here today. Joe's still part of our team, you see him keeping the book, pretty impressive. Um, while he had to step out of the game due to his illness, he has the same drive, trust me, and intensity, when he's sitting on the bench, riding us, um, keeping the scorebook, letting us know we messed up. Um, Joe, I apologize for the past couple of seasons. We're somewhat horrible. Um, he's been a symbol of strength as he's fought a cancer that has no real cure. Does not respond to any conventional methods and is very aggressive. Yet here he is. That alone sends a message of hope and strength. If Tim went through all of the all of the items on you know what this does to you, you'd be shocked. He's a poster child for survival right now. So I'd like to thank everybody for supporting this weekend, these tournaments, Tim Hayes is doing a little good this year. We all benefit from being part of these. Thanks to Tim for organizing everything. Thanks to Joe and Byrne for allowing us to do this. Um, if you know Joe, 
a little bit out of the comfort zone to have us do this. We hounded him and hounded him. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, we didn't listen to the obvious and did it anyways. Um, so in the words, you know, suck it up there. Um, I hope this weekend helps you and your family in some way. There are many people who wanted this tournament. I think OM Awareness needed this tournament. Fish off softball needed this tournament. <sighs> the generation of sheer water needed it. The selfishly, family, friends, and I needed it. Um, we're grateful that you're letting us do this. We know we are here for OM and a good cause, but in our hearts, we are here to show support for Joe Byrne Joseph above all. This weekend, we play for Joe and we pray for Joe. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to try to, try to get out a Tim Coffee Joe Boyle story for you guys, okay? Um, about eight, nine years ago, I was pitching right here on this very mound. Yes, you knew guys, I used to pitch, okay? And I was a spry 42-year-old Tim Coffee, right? And I played on Heron Glenn. And we got our Martin Ghetto guys here today. Everybody hated Heron Glenn. I hated Heron Glenn, I was on the team. We got I'm all okay. But everybody hated Heron Glenn. And I remember I kind of knew Joe, I knew Steve a little better. But I knew Joe with the scorebook, the fiery guy, okay? And I'm on here and I'm pitching. And I throw a ball and I, the cord doesn't get me that far. But it was a little two or three chopper bouncing high over there, right over there. So Joe's sitting on the bench over there with Steve. He's got the book in his hand. And it's bouncing a one, two, three hopper. So I'm a lefty, so I get it. I catch it on the line. And I jump up in the air. Believe it or not, I could jump. I jump up in the air and throw it over the first, right? And I land in that Spider-Man stance. You know, you come down and, and you land in that Spider-Man stance. And there goes the ball. Throw it over the first, pop on the glove, pop on the base, okay? They bang him out, right? Now, I'm still in the Spider-Man stance, but I want everybody to know what's happening. I want them to see me in the Spider-Man stance, okay? So there's Joe Boyle, right? So I'm looking this way at first base, he's out, and I'm over in foul territory, and Joe Boyle pops up off the bench, pops up the book, saying, are you kidding me? Right? And I just turned to Joe, I didn't know what to do, and I just went, <laughs> and I walked away. And the next season, I was playing on Joe Boyle's team. So, guys, with the, starting with a big round of applause from the Fishhawk crowd here, I'd like to bring out the Boyle family, Joe Boyle, Tom Boyle. Um, Tim asked me to talk today, and uh, he said I only had a minute, and those of you that know me, that's pretty hard to do. Um, Tim alighted some of you about ocular melanoma and what it is. It is the most common primary cancer of the eye. It is diagnosed in about 2,000 adults every year, which is only six out of a million. OM is rarer than skin melanoma, and I know the word um, is tagged with it only because of the fact that it has the freckle type of um, structure that you would have um, on your skin. It's aggressive. Um, if it metastasizes, it usually spreads to the liver first. Um, usually it takes, it can be anywhere from three years to 10 years. For Joe, it was three and a half years. July of 2011, we learned that Joe's um, OM had metastasized to his liver. As a lot of you um, alluded to before, um, I can't say enough about him and the strength that he has actually given me many times, and also um, this inspiration that he has been for even for everyone. Um, those of you that know Joe know that Joe is a very disciplined person. He's very focused. Um, this past summer, we um, unfortunately went through another trial, which was not a good situation for us. We got a prognosis that wasn't good, and we sat on it for about 24 hours, and Joe looked at me and said, I'm not quitting. And so he still stands here today because he's not he's fighting every single day. And um, that, for Joseph and I, is what we look up to. Um, and so for that, I can't say enough for him. on this field because believe it or not that's what brought Joe to finding out that he had OM. You know Joe, competitive. 
and he definitely wants to always win and do the best he can do. And he wasn't doing real well at bat. And you know Joe, he went to the batting cages and said, something's wrong with my swing. I've got to fix my swing. Something's wrong. And about one, in 2008, one night, we were driving home, and it was dark, and he kind of scratched his right eye, and he said to me, Vern, I can't see out of my left eye. And um, we thought it was just maybe cataracts, and then, of course, that's where the story began. So for Joe, he was, we were fortunate, if we want to look at positives, that he was that it, it affected his eyesight. Because for some people, unfortunately, it doesn't, and they don't even know it's there. The one thing I want to encourage everybody is to get your annual eye checkups, please. Because it can be just, it can be found by a regular ophthalmologist, optometrist, can locate it. So do me a favor, everybody today, if there's one thing, do me a favor, go for those annual eye checkups. Do that for us. Um, so today, I, I don't know what to say to all of you because it was emotional for me earlier because I saw so many old faces and wow, that was awesome to have our family here with us. Um, I'm hoping that we bring awareness. I set up a table back there for awareness and um, Linda O'Brien, who, where is Linda? There she is. Linda is also has OM, so she's been... Uh, also right along with the fight with us. And um, we have car magnets that we would love for you to come and get one and put it on your car. They fit perfectly on the gas tank cover. They really do. Um, and that way when people are driving by, they see it. If you buy a magnet, you're getting a chance for a ticket um, for one of the baskets, one of the prizes we have out there. Um, if we get those sold today, we'll reach $2,000, which will go right back to Melanoma Research Foundation, MRF. So I want to, you know, promote you guys if you want to come out and do that. Um, I want to thank all of you so much. And Tim, I don't know what to say, but we love all of you and thank you for being here today and for, uh, for supporting us. I'm going to be very brief. I'm not a big director. I, I am just so uh, amazed by this turnout today. I only heard about this maybe a week ago, week and a half ago, and I am so stunned by the turnout. I love all you guys. Tim, uh, you over outdid yourself, and uh, I love you, and I appreciate you, Liz, the White family, everybody, the sponsors, everybody who took part in this today. I, my family were extremely, extremely thankful. Thank you very much. So Joe, we'd like to present you with a gift from the Eddie. All right, guys, we're going to get to um, the events for this weekend. We've already played two games. As you guys know, we got two under the kitty. Okay, we got um, we got an O2 tournament. Okay, we start with O2. The morning guys that are probably playing for the first time, you start with an O2 count. Okay, so if you throw four balls, you get a walk. If you throw one strike and you're looking, you're out. And you pay five bucks. Okay, um, we got tournament t-shirts for 15 bucks. We got raffle tickets, uh, five for 10, 15 for 20. We have over 60 things to raffle off tonight at the party tonight, okay? Over 60 items. So get your get your raffle tickets. You're bound to win a couple of things at the party tonight. Um, we'll do the raffle tonight at the party. We're going to do a silent draw. So we have poster boards we're going to put up on the, on the wall of Pasqua Pizza. We'll pull it about 9 o'clock and pull the winning raffle ticket numbers next to the prize that's there. Show us the ticket and you won that prize, okay? We are raffling off lightning tickets, buck tickets, a signed Corey Stillman jersey, 10 signed lightning pucks. We have to have... 30 uh, uh, gift baskets out there, okay? So just there's tons of really good stuff. We have a TV, we got a golf bag. We have all sorts of really cool things, so get yourself involved in the raffle. Um, we have food vending, $3 cheeseburgers, $2 hot dogs, and a do dollar bottle of water. We got the famous orange bucket there. I just mentioned to you guys the party that we have back at Park Square. It's tonight, 
right in the middle of Park Square Pizza between your Monkey and Park Square Pizza from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Okay, it's um, $20 bracelets we have for unlimited, unlimited beer while you're there. Sal's offering um, $11 one topping pizza just for this event. Okay, so if you, should, if you, if you go to Puffer Pizza, you can order the pizzas there. Um, we have three events going on tonight. We have the first opening band at 7 o'clock. There's a band called A Long Way From Kansas. They're Randall and Newsom kids, teenage kids, 14, 15, 16, and 17, that have been going down into Ebor and downtown Tampa and winning all these battle and band contests, okay? So they're going to come play tonight at 7 o'clock for us. And this is the first time they've ever played in front of their home crowd in Fishhawk Ranch, okay? So make sure you get there on time. This will be something special. We got um, Mike Thomas and his old man Garage Band. It's going to be coming on roughly about 8, 8, 15 right after them. They played a couple of tournaments. They're a lot of fun to listen to. And then uh, Ruben has, Ruben has it, um, Costco's in town, okay? And uh, yeah. I, I know Costco well. You know I know Costco well. His meds are a little off, so we got to make sure you get there tonight because uh, <laughs> Costco's a little off center tonight. Okay? Makes you sell well. Okay, the Art Monkey is also offering a free toppings bar for the kids when we get down to tonight. If you order, if you order ice cream, there's a free toppings bar for them. Um, we're going to resume play tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay, the winning team gets strength to endure championship t-shirts, just like the ones we have that says champions underneath it. Um, here's the most important thing, guys, okay? None of this is possible without all our sponsors, okay? Um, we have 23 gold sponsors that are out there. So if I, if I So, Mike Berenger and the Berenger family, where is he? Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Kathy Ames from, from Remax South Shore Realty. Kathy's here, I saw her somewhere. Woo! Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Jeff Gould, Eddie Fontana, and the entire Bridgeview team. So, take a step forward. <laughs> Don't be shy, guys. Claiborne and, and his wife, Dr. Kira, for Young Smiles and Young's Massage. I gotta tell you, Claiborne was really instrumental in drawing in a lot of sponsors for this tournament, so thank you, Claiborne. You did a great job, thank you. We have uh, Ted Cruz from Red Sports, who's gonna try to get here, but I didn't see him, okay? He makes these shirts for cost, and we turn around and sell them for a profit for the cause, okay? Um, Mary Shea and David Weekly Homes with Mary Shea. Thank you, Mary. Mike Shea. Thank you, Mike Shea. You guys are great. James Wood, the house is for a cause. Home is for a cause, sorry. James Wood, was he at? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay, that's cool. I know he's here. Um, Gary Mary from Mary Lawn Care was a gold sponsor. Mike Brand, Brain and Guardian Protection. Where's Mike Brand? Thank you, Mike. Rick Weber and the entire Rogue Weber family. Where's Rick Weber? Thank you, guys. Steve White and the White family. Steve? Thank you. Red Red Person, NES Associates, where's Red? Thank you, Red. Okay. Uh, Pete Rowley and Dr. Rowley from Kids First Pete Aftercare, where's Pete? I don't Pete's here. Thank you. This guy, he, he's the big man, he's the only man, okay? This guy is there every time you need him. Um, whatever you need, whenever you need him, he's there for you. Where's George Shea? Mike Krause from Roadkill T-Shirts. I don't think he's here, but he was a gold uh, sponsor. And Dr. Kevin Nihal. Dr. Kevin, Dr. Kevin is still here. Dr. Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you very much. He's from New Jersey White here, okay? Right next to Playboy Shop. Um, Tommy Boyle from Boyle Pressure Washing. Tommy, thank you. This is Boyle from Park Square Prime Smokehouse. I don't think he's here, but the Smokehouse has just moved in. It's already started sponsoring. We appreciate that. Eddie Graciosa, who brought in Coca-Cola Beverages, Florida. So Eddie and our Coke friends, can you guys step forward and raise your hand? There you go. Okay. And Marie, Marie Gilmore from the Osprey Observer. Okay, and I don't think Marie's here, but I know Kelly's here. Okay. Those, are, those are our gold sponsors, guys. We got seven silver sponsors. Okay, we have Sal, who's hosting the party tonight from Park Square Pizza. We have... David Payne from Eminem Printing. He did a, a lot of the printing of the various tournament banners that are around here so far. He did that, of course, at, for free for the tournament. 
We have uh, our friend Cormac McCarthy over at Beecher Breeders, okay? He laid out a huge spread of food for all the guys who worked to prepare the field last night. We went back to Beach and he laid out free food for us. So it was very, very, very nice of him. Danielle and Peter Corrin from Danielle Subtello Makeup Artist. Is Danielle here? No? She's going to try to make it. They sponsored as a silver sponsor. Um, Jim Sachon. Where's he at? Where's Jim? There's Jim. Jim gave us uh, a great exercise lap a lot in that tackle that will be wrapped up tonight. Uh, we have Teresa from the Hop Haven who's setting up the bounce house out there. Okay, guys? Um, just so you guys know, it's $5 a ride all day for free. $2 stove cones, $3 cotton candy. So make sure you send the kids over to the free babysitter over there. For five bucks, it's a good deal. Okay? Oh, yes. It is free, you're right. And we have Ann Caruso from the Skin Cancer Center. Our bronze sponsors are Mike Sharon and the Sharon family. And then we have the Coffee family, which is already out here. Orthodontics. Playroom got Thank you. We have the Cabarro family from Shearwater. Is that right, guys? The Cabarro family from Shearwater. All right, Gary, we're going to give this a shot. Gary Lou Ciatoli. Thank you, guys. Gary Lou, good job. Thank you very much. We have the Garcia family, the Lisa Garcia, the Garcia family. We have Melanie Cochran from the Cochran family. This next one is this woman called myself, and uh, she uh, joined the sponsor because her Joe Joey coached her son in Little League, and she wanted to make sure she got on the sponsor. And she was devastated, absolutely devastated when she heard what was going on with Joe. So it was a really touching moment that she says, "My son loved Joe, and I want to sponsor this tournament." So this is for Dylan Foster. I saw you. Where are you? Mary Catherine Kennedy. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. Always sponsor. Thank you very much. Okay, special thanks to the Fish Rock Softball League. They have donated all the food today, so everything that we sell as far as hot dogs, hamburgers, and water goes right to the cause. Okay, so congratulations, Fish Rock Softball. Thank you to everybody that's got to help today. You know, I'm going to go to the last year, okay, but I'll be looking for some help. And special thanks to the entire Calgary family. Where's the Calgary's? All right. We're always helping out. I can't thank them enough. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, a special thanks to my wife Millie. She uh, runs around, does all the things I forget to do, and she really helps make this thing click. She's taking pictures, she's selling shirts, she's getting changed. She just makes it all work. So thank you very much, Millie. Um, I'd like to bring out Miss Haley Jones. She's from the Newsom High School Choir, and she's going to sing the national anthem.
Stop hammer. So we're on, we're on a little bit of a budget here, guys. We uh, we can't do the uh, FLS flyover. <laughs> we can't do the paratroopers landing on the field. So uh, we're we'll kind of substitute. We're going to wing it this year, Joe. Is that okay? You good with that? We're going to fly in the first pitch on a drone. Where is it, Mike? It's right above you. There it is. <laughs> right up above us. Heads up, everybody. <laughs> Let's keep you out of it. There <laughs> 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 goes Tim. Check one of your gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is that okay? Under arm, over arm, kick it. Bobby, you just have to slide to the left a little bit, buddy. Eddie, you good? Yeah, you can stand in front of him, Eddie. Watch that Let's give Joe a round of applause, guys. Come on now. Okay.